Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has recently released the second beta of iOS 18.2. Now iOS 18.2 of course is an amazing update. It brings a new set of Apple intelligence features and other features as well. And beta 2 will of course add way more new features. So we're going to talk all about that in this video. And we also have some really important information to share regarding iOS 18.2. Now, first of all, let's take a look at the update here and as you can see the second beta of ios 18.2 will come to your device at around 1.2 gigabytes that will be of course always different based on which your device which device you're installing in it and of course based on which software you're upgrading from if you're on the first beta of ios 18.2 it should be around 1.2 gigabytes but of course if you're on ios 18.1 and you're updating to ios 18.2 beta then it will be of course much much bigger now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number for this update so the build number is really important as it will of course let us know when can we expect this update to be released to the public as you can see right here the new build number for ios 18.2 is 22 c 5125 e now with the build number ending with an e this indicates to me that it will probably go through another three or four beta stages before Apple moves on to the RC version and then releases iOS 18.2 to the public. But we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes here. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new features and changes that you will be able to find on this update. Now, first off, right here on the settings app, you can notice we finally have dark mode icons for the settings. It's actually amazing and they look really, really good. Now, previously, the only dark mode icon here was the Apple intelligence one and of course, a few different icons on the app section. Now we finally have dark mode icons here for everything on the settings app. Even when we go to different sections, you can see all of them do have the dark mode icons making the settings app look much, much better. And now let's move on here to Apple Intelligence and Siri. And we have a few different changes here on ChatGPT. First of all, it says here extensions. So can, we can go here, you can enable ChatGPT right there. And now you will have here the ability to sign in. And you will also see advanced capabilities and you will have your daily limit here. So you can upgrade to ChatGPT Plus from here or you will have a daily limit if you don't want to upgrade. And of course, once you have reached that limit, you will have to wait for another 24 hours. And then you will have also the chat GPT right here. And if it is basically an update that has been released, you can update your app from here without needing to actually go to the app store at all. Now, here is a very nice change with image one. Now, what you can do now is when you have a text, you don't have to actually go to the tool at all. You can just select that text and here you have the ability to actually turn this into an image. So we tap right there, create image. And as you can see, it will actually do that as easy as that. So all you have to do is just select the text that you have written on your notes app basically describing what you want to create and it will do that for you simply by going to the menu that you get once you have selected some text. Now what's really great is that the new mail app that Apple has added with iOS 18.2 will now be available to everyone not just devices with Apple intelligence capabilities. Everyone that will install iOS 18.2 from now on will get the new features basically the ability to categorize all their emails which is really great and then of course swipe like this to go there all emails but this categorization right here is actually really really helpful and i'm really glad that apple has decided to push this update to everyone and not just devices with apple intelligence and you will have another great feature on the Find My App. And you will see this splash screen once you open the Find My App for the first time on your iOS 18.2 device. Now you can see right here, share item location. This will allow you to temporarily share a location of an item, which of course will be very helpful when finding a lost item by sharing its location with an airline or trusted person. As it says right here, there will be of course a lot of cases when you can use this feature which is actually again super useful 
Another great feature of iOS 18.2, which again is very useful, is the ability to use iPhone mirroring while sharing your mobile hotspot with your Mac. That will be actually super useful for a lot of people. And there is also a small update here for home on your control center. You will now get a redesigned button for the settings. And now let's move on and talk about performance of iOS 18.2. Now this is the performance I got right here on iOS 18.2 beta 2. It's a little lower than the beta one, but of course this has just been installed on the device. In a couple of days, we will most likely get a way better score. But you can see the score here, the single core score is actually not bad at all at 2,958. While we have quite a significant decrease here on the multi-core score at 7, 1281 but I'll, I'll wait a couple of days more and do another test it will probably increase quite a bit moving on and talking about battery of course at this point we had this this update on the device for a few hours so we cannot talk about battery regarding beta 2 but we can take a look here at how beta one has done when it comes to battery you can see right here 10 hours 13 minutes with around 110% battery. Right here we have exactly 100% battery, eight hours, 21 minutes, then 75% battery, five hours, 24 minutes right there. Then again, with 105% battery, 10 hours, 32 minutes. This of course on a battery that's at 91% battery health. So it's actually not that bad when you keep in mind that this is a beta one. And of course it has a lot of new features like the Apple intelligence ones, which actually do consume a ton of battery. And last but not least, let's talk about the next beta. Well, I would actually expect Apple to move to a weekly schedule. If not the next week, probably the 19th will be the date that Apple releases beta three. And then they most likely will go on on a weekly schedule from here. But I would expect them even the next week to be on a weekly schedule. So we will most likely get like five or six betas before we get the RC version of iOS 18.2, which in my opinion should be around here, the 9th or the 10th of December before they release it to the public which most likely will be the 16th of December. Maybe they will push it even further away to the 23rd, but I wouldn't expect Apple to do that because it's the week of the holidays right there, but most likely the 16th of December will be the day that Apple releases iOS 18.2 to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Again, iOS 18.2, an amazing update. It actually offers quite a lot for iPhone users. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.